بركاته today إن شاء الله we're going to learn how to draw to locate the image position uh, by using ray diagram we have two types of uh, mirrors uh, concave and convex mirror concave uh, mirror there these mirror we call them a spherical mirror imagine you have a sphere and you cut the sphere if the inner part of the sphere is the shiny reflected side and you put the object in front of it this will be concave so the word cave like you're going inside a cave convex mirror on the other hand will be the other side of the sphere which is the outer side of the sphere so if you put the object in front of this outside outside surface of the sphere if the outside surface of the sphere is our shiny reflected surface so this one will be like a con convex mirror so you you, you have it's like a spoon when you look at your, your yourself inside the spoon the in, the inner side of a spoon is the concave outer side of a spoon is the convex now <clears throat> let's start with concave mirror for concave mirror the image produced mostly is real image and it's inverted in most cases. When I, in, when I change the position of the object, here I have the object is behind the center of curvature. Image produced is between the center of curvature and the focal point and it is inverted, inverted and real image inverted you see the height of the image is negative to indicate it is inverted if i put the object exactly at the center of curvature i still have inverted image but this time with the same side of the object you see the height of the image one the height of the object 1.8 the height of the image negative 1.8 they have the same size size if i bring the object now between between the center of curvature and the focal point, the image starts now to get bigger. It's still inverted, but the height of the image, negative 2.59, is low, uh, higher than, uh, taller than uh, the, image, the uh, object, which is 1.35. If I bring also the object more closer, this time I will put the object exactly at the focal point. You see the rays are parallel, they don't meet. That means we cannot see the, the we cannot see the image. Now the object is between the focal point and the mirror. You see the image now it went to the other side. Goes to the other side, distance becomes negative now. All the time all the time the distance was were positive. Now the distance between the image and the mirror is negative to indicate it's on the other side. The image is upright. You see the height of the image is positive and it's bigger compared to the object. You see the height of the object is uh, 0.57, while the height of the image is 1.49. What we're going to do now, we're going to use this ray diagram to locate the image and know the characteristic of the image produced. As you notice here, I have first ray parallel to the principal axis is reflected through the focal point. Second ray is being drawn here, which is the ray through the focal point. It hits the mirror and it will reflect parallel to the principal axis. Third ray is passing through the center of curvature. It will hit the mirror and it will reflect on itself. So I have three rays. I need basically two rays only to locate the image, okay? So let's start here. Here is the object. We'll start with this one with the concave mirror first. I'm going to use my hand, but I prefer you use ruler when you have question like that in the exam. It's better to use a ruler. So first ray, I'm going to draw parallel to the principal axis. This one is the principal axis. This one is the axis, my principal axis. This ray will hit the shiny reflected surface of the mirror and it will reflect where it will reflect through the focal point. 
the other ray, I will change the color. Just a minute here. This ray, it will pass through the focal point. And then it will reflect parallel to the principal axis. These rays meet here. So the image, this will be my image here. So the image is inverted. I will have real image, of course. All cases in real image, except when the object is really close between F and the mirror, between the focal point and the mirror. I will have virtual image. Reduced and inverted. Now, second case, the object, now I get the object closer, the object exactly at the center of curvature. So first ray parallel to the principal axis to reflect through the focal point. Second ray, it will pass through the focal point, hits the mirror, and it will reflect parallel I know the location it will be here it should reflect parallel to the principal axis I will have an image exactly the position of the image exactly at the center of curvature still inverted same size of the object so it is same size of the object and still real image Now, the object is between the center, center of curvature and the focal point parallel. So I'll draw the first ray parallel to the principal axis. It will hit the shiny surface of the mirror. And then it will reflect through the focal point. The other ray. will pass through the focal point, hits the mirror, and it will reflect parallel to the principal axis. These rays meet here. So the image, this is the image that will be behind, the image behind the center of curvature. The image is still inverted. This time is magnified, and it's still real. Now I'll put the object more closer. The object now I move it exactly at the focal uh, point. So first ray parallel to the principal axis. It will hit the mirror and it will reflect through the focal point. Now, since the object is at the focal point, I cannot uh, 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 put a ray uh, that passes through the focal point. I'm going to choose the ray number three. So ray number three, from the head of uh, this object, I will let this ray pass through the center of curvature. What will happen to this ray? It will reflect back on itself. It will reflect back on itself. You see these two rays? Uh, they don't meet. That means there is no image here or the image is really far away, distor distorted. We cannot see it. Now we'll bring the object really close now between the focal point and the mirror. OK. So first one parallel. To the principal axis. OK, and this one it will reflect passing through the focal point. The other ray, I will draw a ray that pass through the center of curvature. And this ray, it will reflect on itself. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to extend, extend these rays. And they meet here. This will be the position of the image. So the image produced will be on the other side. Here. 
on the other side and it will be virtual upright image. So it will be upright. This is the only case. Will I magnify it, of course? And this is the only case I will have a virtual image. Virtual image always is on the other side and it's always upright. Time. For convex mirror now, for convex uh, mirror, we have different scenario, different situation. Because here, let me just change for you. Okay, now the object will stand, the shiny surface will be the outer side of the mirror. I will have only one case where the image on the other side, the image on the other side, the distance is negative. The image is reduced. It's virtual because it's upright and it's on the other side. Whenever I put, wherever I put the object, I will still have upright, reduced image. Still the image is, yeah, it's a little bit longer, taller, but it's still upright and virtual and on the other side. So I need to draw ray diagram for this case. Here is the object. So from the head of the object, I'm going to draw a ray parallel to the uh, principal axis. OK, and this ray, it will hit the mirror and it will reflect. So it will hit the mirror and it will reflect. I will extend the refraction that this reflected here. So it will reflect it. We're passing through the focal point, passing through the focal point. So this one, when I extend it, it will pass through the focal point. Now the other ray, the other ray, it will pass through the center of the mirror. So from the head of this object, it will pass through the center of the mirror here. And this ray, it will reflect on itself. Where do the ray meet? The position where these rays meet, it will be the image. So my image here, it will be here. This is my image and as you see the image is upright it's reduced and virtual image virtual image q is negative because it's on uh, the other side of the other side of the object and if for this type of mirror is always negative for the case of concave mirror all cases I will have F always here in this type of mirror is positive. Q is positive. Q is the distance between the object. Q is the distance between, sorry, between the image and the mirror. Between the object and the mirror, this is distance P. Between image and the mirror, this is the distance we call it Q or di this is p or distance do height of the object is h height of the image is h bar so always for concave mirror for concave mirror f is positive q also is always positive because image and the object are in the same size the same uh, direction same side in the same side in front of the mirror except where the object is really close to the mirror only in in this case i will have a distance here between this image the virtual image and the mirror q and this is the only case i will have a negative where i have a virtual image uh, the uh, the, uh, the image is on the other side distance from here till here, it's the distance between the object, object and the mirror. So let's summarize them again. OK, 
اوكي فور كونكيف كونكيف ميرور كونكيف ميرور هير از ذا اوبجكت از هير اف از بوزيتيف كيو از بوزيتيف وين ويل بي كيو از نيجاتيف كيو ويل بي نيجاتيف وين اي هاف فيرتشوال ايمج ذا ايمج ذا ايمج ويل بي اون ذا باك of the mirror only but here here always the image is is real and and object the object and the mirror and the image both of them are in front of the mirror are in front of the mirror same side of the mirror. In case of convex mirror, this is our shiny surface. The object is here. Image produced will be on the other side here. The image and we said the image, uh, the image produced is here. Let me clean it here. The image will be here. Image. Okay, and it's always virtual. Always it's virtual. Okay, and Q says on the other side, Q is negative, and if always for convex mirror is negative. Convex, a shiny surface, is this one. This is the back of the mirror, and here is my object. Here is, is the object. This is the back of the mirror. That's it. See you inshallah next video.